Well, kids fight and they argue with their brothers or sisters. That is a fact. It's a given. But when it comes to sibling rivalry, how do you know when horseplay turns from healthy to hurtful? In the coffee group today, we welcome back John Cowan from The Parenting Place and the kids coach, Jennifer Pollard. Good morning to you both, guys. Good morning. morning. Firstly, John, let's start with you. Sibling rivalry, it's pretty normal behaviour, isn't it? It is, but parents have voted it the most aggravating thing in their family life. Is that an official poll? Uh, well, it's one that I referred to that I can't remember where I read it now, but no, no, nobody ever contradicts it. They all go, yes, it's certainly true in our house. Yes, parents yeah. in the audience, everyone's nodding. Yes, everyone's yeah. nodding. It definitely is one of those things, isn't it? How does it affect kids' confidence? So... Obviously our sibling relationships are going to be some of the most important relationships, the most long-standing and the most impactful relationships we have in our lives. Our siblings tend to know us better than anybody else. They know our soft spots, our weaknesses, and if they want to exploit those vulnerabilities, they can do that. Um, if we have a child who tends to be quite sensitive or might have a lot going on in their lives or if that rivalry kind of increases beyond what's normal, then that can have an impact on children's um, self-esteem and their confidence. Okay, but do you think sometimes kids realise this and they play off the sibling rivalry a bit? They sort of work on that, oh, I'm so sensitive because they're picking on me? Absolutely. There could certainly be a bit of that. We have to be really on our toes as parents, and kids can use it as well to get a bit of attention. Um, if they can get mom and dad on side, then, you know, that's going to be uh, give them a bit of ammo, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Now, John, the rivalry can be all sorts of things, can't it? It can be both physical, it could be yep. who's nearest to mum and dad. They'll it could fight be... over the who gets the TV remote, they'll fight over a toy that nobody's in it, been interested in for four years. Yes. And the thing that to realise is what they're very often fighting over is you. They're wanting your intervention, they're wanting you to come in and declare who your favourite is. And that is the biggest fuel, I think, to sibling rivalry, and that is expressing any sense of favouritism. OK, so and not even as a joke? Not even as a... Well, maybe as a joke. <laughs> if, but, uh, no, if, if they get the sense that they're the less loved child, possibly right. nothing is as toxic to a kid's heart okay. as believing that. But I am your favourite, aren't I? Oh, definitely. Good, just checking. Yes. Great, just, just getting that one in there. <laughs> Can parents actually make it worse? Yes. Well, first with the favouritism, mm. but also of unfairness. I know people say, well, life isn't fair, but I don't think that excuses us from trying to make family life as fair as possible. That doesn't mean treating every child equally, but fairly, according to their needs, and to make sure that they get space and time to themselves. Okay, everyone needs a little yeah. bit of time to themselves, don't they? And helping kids to understand that difference between, you know, fair and equal can mm. be really important. What is the difference? The difference between fair and equal. So fair means that you know, um, you're going to play to the child's needs, everyone's going to get what's suitable for them, whereas equal means that they're going to get exactly the same thing, and that might not always be very appropriate. Okay, but equal yeah. is right when you're dishing up ice cream, of course, when they get the exact equal amount. Well, well that's <laughs> if you count out grapes and peas and things, they'll probably get a little measuring device Absolutely. down to make sure that, you know, they'll, they'll still be convinced they're getting less than, uh, than enough. But that's the thing, you say, have you got enough? Would right. you like a big scoop or a small scoop? And just do it according to their needs. You can never have enough ice cream, though. And sometimes, you know, getting to um, accept those disappointments, those mm. little disappointments, is actually really important. We had this issue with custard in my house the other night, right. and one of the children got more than the other. Um, and I did that intentionally, and that was a little bit hard to take, but it was something that, um, you know, we all have to kind of come to grips with. Okay, mm. yeah. suck it up, pussycat. If, if sometimes it's that is an important lesson to learn yeah. for sure. So sometimes bickering can be healthy. Yeah, absolutely. So um, research actually does show that mild sibling rivalry can actually help children to develop sort of social understandings, social skills, conflict resolution skills. So that's something that I guess when we're in the thick of it, um, we can yeah. take heart yeah. in knowing that, you know, that those things can be helpful the for our children. The, okay. Yeah. The mild's the qualifying thing. Mild, it's unpleasant absolutely. And, Drives us all yeah. crazy as parents. Finally, just a very quick tip from both of you about some things that we can do to address it in our families right now. Okay, so for me, one of the main tips would be if you have a lot of sibling rivalry in your family at the moment or it is impacting one child negatively, so setting some really strong guidelines regarding how we're going to treat each other in our family. So what's acceptable what's and what isn't acceptable, acceptable okay. is going to be really important. And John, from you? We found that timers worked very well. Timers on your phone, timers on the stove, an old clockwork timer for for sorting out computer time, trampoline time, things like that. That's fair and neutral. And on that one, I call time. Thank you so much for you both. Thanks. It's been uh, enlightening for sure. I'm sure a lot of parents will get a lot out of that.